sophomore, and this is for all three of you. Can you say in one sentence or less what? Um, you know what I mean. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Y'all, we always got to give it up to her. We always have to give it up to her. Shout out to Shar Willie for this next story, cause. Cheers! Y'all, I am so confused by American politics and the way that they run American politics. Like, I don't even get it anymore. Real talk. I don't get it. Y'all, y'all have to explain to me what in the world is a part-time mayor and why do they exist at all? Let alone why do they have the power and influence to do the following thing that Shar Willie just sent us in to this story. Let's take a look at this, y'all. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to ruin it for y'all. Okay, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Let, let's take a look. This is insane. This is crazy. Can the Dalton Police Department afford to have this many officers attached to her detail? We can. We really need them patrolling the streets. Dalton. So she's the... Hold on. I look at... Where's Dalt, Dalton? Dalton. Dalton. D-O-L-T-O-N. Dalton County is where? Cook County, Illinois, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, so it's directly to the south of Chicago. All right, then. Dalton County. Just checking. I had to make sure. I had to make sure that I knew where the heck we were talking about. Okay, let's keep going. A part-time mayor of a south suburban village of a little more than 20,000 people. Yet residents of Dalton are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars per what? year to provide security for their self-proclaimed super mayor. Tonight, what? Fox 32 investigates Tiffany Henyard's security detail and the... Dude, Tiffany, never name your kid Tiffany unless you want them to be kind of gold diggy, right? Like, I'm thinking about Tiffany Pollard, right? Um, New York. From Flavor of Love? I'm sorry. I know I'm ruining it, but come on. Really? Really? 20, she's a part-time mayor to 20,000 people? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Massive amount of overtime it is generating for a handful of officers. Our Dane Placco has more. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the People's Mayor and People's Supervisor. Tiffany Henyard makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year serving as both Mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township. She makes nearly $250,000 a year being a part-time mayor and, and town, Thornton Township Supervisor. What does that even mean? Like, what? What? Hold on. Okay, so you can. Okay, so, so first of all, because I thought a mayor was a supervisor, basically, but no, apparently, um, you can also just be a supervisor. Oh, okay, that's that's chill. So she's a supervisor of Thornton. And also a part-time mayor of Dalton. This is some jackassery. Uh, I can't even. What is this nonsense you sent me, Shara? There's, there, there's like an April Fool's at the end of this, right? Or trick or treat. Gotcha. What is this nonsense? Okay, let's keep going. Supervisor, an elected political double dip. She's charismatic and controversial. Nobody knows that. Don't know nobody know that. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident. <laughs> Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. And it's hard to turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Henyard's picture or online, where she Ooh, recently commemorated 9-11 with her own photo. I want to ask you a few what? questions. Okay. But when we asked Henyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And on Facebook, in videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which Crazy. got us to wondering, why all the cops? We weren't opposed to her having the security detail. We asked how long and how often. Dalton trustee Brittany. Okay, Brittany Norwood. 
the Dalton trustee was not opposed to her having security detail like she's Beyonce. Did you ever wonder what she needed it? For? Like, why? You're a part-time mayor. Does anyone Has anyone even heard of you before? I mean, other than your dumb antics. And I've never even heard of that. I'm surprised I haven't heard of that, though. See, this is why local politics matters, y'all. Because this is the first thing you got. If you live in Dalton County or in Thornton County, this is who's helping y'all. Local politics matters. When you don't invest locally, these jackasses get to walk on in and then get $250,000 um, <clears throat> salary. And then just milk your whole county dry of funding with their own private security task force. <laughs> like, what is this stupidness? Okay. <laughs> what? Brittany Norwood says Hanger began assembling her details shortly after being elected in 2021 using hand-picked Dalton police officers. Oh. Using a freedom of information request, we obtained the work records for six of the officers assigned nice. to Henyard's security detail at various okay. times and showed them to some of Dalton's trustees. This is a freedom of information request we did to see how much overtime these officers are making on her security details. Oh, wow. 162 wow. hours. 162. Well, that's nothing. What goes through your mind when you see these numbers? Um, uh, it, it's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck wow. of more than $13,000. How? How does a person put in a two-week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. How? How? We, we just... You see what y'all, you see the precedent y'all started when y'all, when y'all, y'all over there in America, y'all over there, y'all see what y'all did? When y'all let Trump in the office, okay. this is this this is the precedent y'all started. Okay, well, that's impossible. Three hundred thirty-six. Does he hours. never go to sleep? In fact, there are three hundred thirty-six hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only thirty-three hours over that period. Other officers on the security detail are also racking up overtime paychecks in the multiple thousands of dollars. Mayor, mind if I ask you a couple of questions about your security detail? Absolutely not. I'm asking her. Yeah, she said no. A couple yeah, weeks ago, no. <laughs> we tried to question Henry about her detail as she went door to door in Dalton giving out water on a 100 degree day. Surrounded by police, firefighters, public works employees, and two videographers documenting for Dalton's Facebook page. I want to tell the people I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I hope they post what we actually do here in the village of Dalton. It's not telling lies. But when we gave her an opportunity to explain the OT, Mayor, why do you need so many why don't officers, you ask about water? You guys, details, or your security? Water? What did you say, water? It's not like you said water. Earlier that day, we watched as a Dalton cop drove Enyard from her other job at Thornton Township to a Mexican restaurant for lunch. Trustees Naturally. say the security detail picks the mayor up at her home in the morning and is with her until she's dropped off at night, often right. taking her on errands and shopping. Does she need a security detail? Absolutely not. No! Why? Why would you need a security not. detail? Oh, she loves serious? it. She just loves it. She loves the detail. <laughs> I think um, it makes her feel as if she's, uh, she's like a superstar. Dalton Got trustees it. have so filed a lawsuit mm -hmm. against Tenyard, saying she's not justified the need for security and of is spending not. hundreds of thousands of dollars on it without the board's approval. I see no justification whatsoever. And more than that, it's really a detriment to the residents of Dalton. How so? Um, the residents, if we would take the same money and put it on officers patrolling the streets, then the residents will see a much better presence and public safety will be better. We've had a few shootings, so we need the extra police patrolling our streets instead of patrolling her. And we found Dalton credit card her. statements showing that Henyard takes the detail with her even when she travels out of town, spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. 
Bro, that is so blatant. And you know, it's not that I know for sure. It's not like she's going out of town to do have something to do with being mayor. Or even supervisor, right? It's, it's not, it has nothing to do with her and her super bear, super bear duties, right? It's just like, yo, I want to go visit my mama this weekend. And she goes and gets her security detail to bring her there like she'd be <laughs> Roger, I, I can't. I... And to all of y'all fools out there who say, well, well, this is what the people we elect do, and, and not just anyone can become, a, a, you know, a person in power. Are you sure? Are you positive? Because Tiffany Henniard right now is proving that there were two, not one, but two vacant spots that she can fill simultaneously. <laughs> and then spend $250,000 a year on her salary, plus milking the county dry. Over her Beyonce level security detail. I can't. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Why are you taking all the officers out of town with you? Isn't that a waste okay. of taxpayers' money? Yeah. Let's go to this one right here. Talk Anything you want to say to defend yourself on this? As no. for the village's finances, trustees say Dalton is now getting sued by some vendors for failure to pay its bills. Wow. In the last two fiscal years, we're $5 million in the hole, and a big part of it is the security detail. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You don't see the governor with a detail as her. <laughs> that lawsuit over the mayor's detail has not yet been settled. On Monday, we emailed a list of detailed questions to Henyard's spokesman, but never received a response. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. I just want to know if anybody is surprised that Tiffany Henyard did not answer any questions at all. I, if anyone's surprised. Show, show, show of hands. Y'all want to put shocked faces inside the chat in the comments section if you are surprised that Tiffany Henyard ain't answering no questions. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about American local politics. Y'all think that it's 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 worthwhile this day and age? Um, do you think it's just an accident? But normally it's super hard to get into politics. Um, where do you think people just like to make a lot of excuses when they are pointing fingers and saying, give us better stuff, but they're not willing to put their money where their mouth is, or at least, um, you know, go and jump into local politics and actually do something good for their own county? I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know. Because all I got to say is one thing. Every single resident. <laughs> Pay me what you owe me. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm a sophomore, and this is for all three of you. Can you say in one sentence or less what 